Welcome back. We're going to look at exercises three and four in this little help session of these tutorials. I'm just going to run up here and I want to start, I want to do the T clip first. I hit, uh, I hit new up here. It brings me into advanced setup. We'll go through this. This is decimal again. It's all mechanical drawing. I'm just going straight through that. Now incrementally, uh, we are going to start out. I just hit line. 0 comma 0 all right and the first movement I want to start from left to right on this one on this t-clip number 3 and X would be my first 1.75 comma 0 moves it over and I'm going to keep going around this thing counterclockwise I hit at makes that 0 0 makes that relative so I'm not using my absolute 0 0 I'm using my end point of 0 0 coming across 1 comma zero and then I'm going straight up four minus one minus one would be two so X would be zero comma two I'll zoom in here just a little bit with my wheel on my mouse and I want to hit at I got three point five minus one minus minus one would be two point five so I divide it by two you get uh, one point two five so it'll be at negative 1.25 comma 0 we're going to go uphill looks like one inch 0 comma 1 at 3.5 comma 0 shoots us across there at coming downhill 0 and X minus 1 then I want to come back in X minus 1.25 comma zero then I want to at zero and X minus two and Y and then I want to come over one comma zero and then I want to shoot up heel looks like 1.75 at 1.75 and X and then Y I'm moving up uh, three boom and then we'll go at, go 0, comma 1, because I'm going up 1. And then I want to shoot back across at negative 6.5, comma 0. Come down at 0, comma, negative 1. And then I want to tie back in at uh, 1.75, comma, three and y'all see what I did wrong there so if you mess up just delete it out just click on it hit your delete button hit line make sure your object snap is on over here and there is endpoint and I come over here and click on the endpoint of that at now and uh, I could honestly come down here and just snap right to it but I'm going to do this whole thing incrementally 1.75 and comma negative three this time and it ties it in there and all I have to do is zoom in here click on this line and you see the grips and just delete it and there is your clip all right so now we've got number four our channel plate which shouldn't take us too awfully long and uh, I think in Blackboard it said that we could use absolute and incremental movements, and that's fine. That's good. So now I delete that one out. I'll start line 0, comma 0. And I'm just going to come over 0 0.25, comma 0. So we got started out. We're doing good. We're going to shoot over now. I'm just going to use absolute all the way across here. 1.25 comma 0. I used absolute on that one. And then I'm going to go, and that's a 0.25 coming up here. It's just, this side is identical to this side, okay? So a rule of thumb is 45 degrees. Those short uh, two legs of that triangle are the exact same size. And if you look at it, uh, it's 0.25 and 0.25 on that one. So all you have to do is I could hit at 0.25, comma 0.2. I'm using incremental on this one. 
and something is majorly wrong. This line right here must be way too big. If you want to check that, come up here and hit your annotations linear. And let's see what in the world is going on here. 31. Oh, man, I've messed up. If you mess up, click on all of it. Just hit escape. Hit your left button and you can take and drag and make a window and delete. Zoom back in here. And I want to check this measurement. So I hit linear. Hit that to that. And it is 0.25. So we're exactly where we need to be. Line. I'll start right. I just clicked on that endpoint. Hit line. My endpoint is turned on and my snap is turned on. If I had my snap turned off, I couldn't touch it at all. You see? So I turn my snap on and it lets me snap right directly to it. And I'm going to use absolute. I want to come over 1.25 from my original 00, zero which is way over here at zero, 00. And I want to hit 0 for Y, comma, because I'm not going up and down. At 0.25, comma, 0.25. That looks a lot better. Now, um, my next movement, I could just say 1.25. 5 for x using the absolute here, comma, and I can do 0.375, and it puts me up to there. I can hit at now, negative 0.5. I'm using incremental, shoot back to there. Uh, 0.2 off the top there, so I could hit, um, I could do it a couple different ways here. Uh, let's just do this one incrementally, at. 0.375 minus 0.2 is going to be uh, 0.175. So at 0, comma, negative 0.175. Shoots it down to there. And now I'm shooting back across. Now that little line is going to be one to look at. Because uh, I got 0.5. The overall is 1.5. So I'm going to subtract out 0.5 from that one leg. It makes it 1. And I know over here is 0 0.3, so that makes it 0 0.7. And then 0 0.125 is a 45 degree, so both legs would be the exact same. So what you end up with on this one is going to be 0.575. That line is 0.575. I can incrementally do that, negative 0.575, comma, 0. Now we got a 45.125, so at 0.1... I'm doing this incrementally too, negative 0.125, comma, 0.125. There's that. And then I'm going up 0.75 at 0, comma, 0.75. Shoots that up to there. And at um, 0.125, comma, 0.125. Shoots, I've done that incrementally. I want to come over now again because we know it's 0.575 comma zero. Then I want to come downhill. Uh, what did we say that was? 0.175. So uh, zero and x negative 0.175, and then at 0.5 comma zero, and then we're going to come up we got to figure out what that little distance is there. I didn't check it. I done it a different way. We done it absolutely on the bottom. But you take 0.375 and you minus 0.25. And you get, uh oh, 375 minus 0.25. You get 0.125. So I just at 0, comma, uh, 0, comma, 0.125, and then at, I'm not going to do at this time, because I can do it absolute, I can do 1.25 absolute from my, from my origin, comma, the overall height of this thing is 1.25, and that doesn't look right. So, at this point, something isn't right. We need to look. Oh, I know what's not right, is this piece right here. I said it was 0.75, and it's really not. we got to calculate what that is, okay? 
So I'll just come back and I'll delete what I messed up on. I'll come back and hit line here and we'll start again. Now, uh, overall is 1.25, 1.25. So we can just grab us a calculator, calculator. And overall, this thing is 1.25 minus 0.2 minus uh, 0.125 minus 0.125 again on the bottom and then minus 0.2 and we get 0.6 so at 0 comma 0.6 at that looks a little bit better 0.125 comma 0.125 at 0.575 comma 0 at um, 0 comma negative going downhill is going to be um, what is that 0.175, negative 0.175, oh, at 0, negative 0.175, that looks better, at 0.5 comma 0, shooting it across there, at, we're going back uphill now, and where are we at, 0.375 minus 0.25, is 0.125, so uh, it would be 0 and x, and 0.125 going up, and then we shoot across the top here, and I want to do this one absolute, because I got the absolute measurements, looks like to me. That looks better, yeah. And then at 6.5, negative 6.5, if I do that, 6.5 comma 0, shoots it right, whoa, I messed up again. If I do, hit escape, go back up, line, and at negative 1.25 comma 0, I don't know where I got 6.25 at, and I messed up again. Do y'all see that? What have I done? You know what I've done? I didn't indicate in my 0.25 off of that. So you click on here, at negative, take 1.25 minus 0.25 would be 1, comma 0. Now at negative 0.25, comma negative 0.25, put that little angle on it. At negative point at 0, comma negative 0.75. And then the last one, I want to do a absolute coordinate on this one. It would be 0.25 comma 0. And it puts it right back down in there. So roughly that's how that you, and then you come in here and you can, you can delete that little line off right there that we had. So that is just a, a, hopefully a quick help to you if you got stuck somewhere. I went through it really quick, but maybe you can catch where you were stuck at and get those numbers and see how that you actually got it. So if you need help, just call me or you can come in to, to class Monday through Thursday. There's an open lab session. You can come in and grab a computer and I'll help you with it.